since I'm home on a Monday and it's like a vacation day for me, it doesn't change the fact that it's school day for you. So we're starting the day and I'm going to try and document little bits and pieces at least of how the day goes when I'm not here. And apparently it starts with something called, what is it? Uh, dinner. No, you're lying. <laughs> it starts with it's a five, what is it called? The something five? Morning the morning five. The morning five. portion of the morning five is what? When you're gonna go take care of the chickens. The animals, okay. So be quick, be efficient, be thorough, do it with excellence, and move out. Move, 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 move. Two minutes! Me part of your morning five. Ooh, sunlight. Yeah. And wow, did. so you did this? Yeah. You made your bed all by yourself? Yeah. Good job. Doing fine, deep breaths. Here. Three. 
Do you know what this one is? A hundred. It's, yep, it's ten one hundreds. One group of ten in five units makes fifteen. Every number has a place, and then these are called your manipulatives. Can you say manipulative? Manipulative. They're things that you can manipulate to help you see your numbers. So listen up. Hello, welcome to the world of math. Today we have students in our front row, and we have teachers, and we're going to be teaching you math today. Now, the next one is the trick. How am I going to get two hundreds on here? Well, let's try it. Now I'm just going to have to hold them like this. So, you can stack yours, right? But there's two hundreds. So we have two hundreds, three tens, and one unit. Does that make sense? Well, the word buoyancy is how well something floats. So we're going to see if an egg will be buoyant in salt, if it'll be buoyant in control, or buoyant in sugar. Think of a buoy. You guys know on the water, those things that float on top? Yes. This one's going to get nothing added to it. This one's going to get salt added to it. This one's going to get sugar added to it, okay? Yes, do you understand? Yes. Okay. So in the salt one, we're going to add eight tablespoons of salt. Two. Oh. Oops. Three. So you think the control is going to float on top, the salt water is going to make it float on top, and then the sugar is going to make it hang out in the middle? That's what you think? Okay, good. All right, good. Now, what about in the sugar water, Owen? The sugar water, when we put the egg in the sugar water, is it going to go down, float in the middle, or stay up top? You think up top in the sugar too? Mm -hmm. Okay, put your egg up top. Long circle. Float. Like that? Yep, that's perfect. Float. Okay, so now what about in the salt water? Do you think the egg is going to stay on top, or go to the bottom, or hang out in the middle? You think it's gonna float at the top? Yeah. Okay, so now put your oval at the top. Put the eggs in, and then we're gonna draw what actually happens. On the bottom is my result. So we took our guesses, and now down here, we're gonna look at each glass and decide, or and write what actually happens. And what is that called? That's your observations, right? What did so you, you observe? Yeah. You, you theorize what might happen, you observe what happened, and then you document. Your All right, so I only have three glasses. So should I do them, or is somebody willing to? Me, go me, 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 me. Okay, so in the sugar, let's see what happens in the sugar. Yes, bottom. Right to the bottom. You gotta draw where your draw where your egg went in the sugar. Oh, cool. All right, oh, and put it in the salt. What happens in the salt? Yeah. Oh. So no salt, no sugar, regular tap water, go. What happens when it's just in the control? Yeah! Yes. 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 And this one goes up. This one is up. That Why? also means that you have a fresh egg because it's sunk to the bottom.